take a seat and get ready to see how rapping and custom culture come together. Welcome to the studio. I'm Nick Caminiti, founder of Exotic Graphics based in Melbourne, Australia. We wanted to create something that would capture the lifestyle of rapping and its art form. What better way to showcase this than with world-renowned rapper Justin Pate from the Rap Institute. So when I was at SEMA 2019, Nick texted me and said, you know, you're coming down to Melbourne, let's do something cool. And I said, you know what, uh, Joffrey's actually going to be in Melbourne. And Nick was like, no way, Joffrey's going to be in Melbourne. Well, my name is Joffrey. I'm from Holland. I own a rap shop for uh, about 10 years now. It's just super special to combine the talents of Joffrey and uh, Nick and then myself kind of coming in and kind of creating this whole feel of this project because again celebrating the rap life is what it's all about. Like years back we talked already about this you know and finally it's, it's happening now. When we had the idea to capture custom culture we're like yeah let's do rap life, let's capture everything. Family, good food, cars, bikes, rapping, the actual design, the whole lifestyle of what we do every day. We live and breathe it. It's so good to have support like Graphic Art Mart and Avery Dennison Australia. They let me explore my mind further and they also give us the opportunity to push the industry to another level. When Joffrey was coming to Melbourne, I wanted to pick him up in something special. I wanted to almost feel like a chauffeur. So we came at the airport, Nick picked us up with the old Cadillac. Convertible, triple black. I was like, what, you know, super cool. I didn't expect, you know. I knew he was bringing something, but w what he was bringing was not a normal car. So we drove from the airport to downtown. Melbourne weather, it was raining in one second, sunny the next, but we still enjoyed it. It was one of those special moments that I don't think we'll forget. So when we came at the shop, Nick opened the door. When that roller door rolled up, I think Joffrey knew that we had some work ahead of us. Wow. What the hell? Two cars, you know? The big one was like massive. And then we saw the hot rod, like it's red, and it needs to be covered completely. It's not an easy car. And I said to Nick, we have to call Justin for this. We need more help. But I said, I'm teaching in Melbourne on Friday. I'm not gonna get to until five. Tight little window. I kind of panicked a little bit. We um, had a bit of a game plan, but I knew it was gonna be real tight, the deadline. A lot of work to get done. Justin couldn't get here by five. And you know, traffic was building up and Nick said, you know what, um, we really need you here because we got a super tight deadline. And he says, I'm gonna send a chopper for you. If I'm gonna send a chopper, I'm gonna wrap it. That's how you pick up Justin Pate. So we did a really cool design. The flying Von Dutch Eye, flames. I sent my boys out with the Avery Dennison film and they nailed it. I sent Justin a picture of two Harleys, putting him off a bit, thinking he's getting picked up on a chopper. I show up to the address Nick gave me in downtown Melbourne, and I see it's a helicopter pad. Then all of a sudden I get a text from Nick, and he says, three minutes out, and he says, look up. And so I do, and I see this wrapped helicopter coming down, and I just couldn't believe it. Such a cool design with everyone's logos on it. To hop on a chopper to get taken to exotic graphics, that's a bucket list checkoff right there. Uh, yeah, it was just amazing to fly and just see the coastal line and then come in and land literally in front of Nick's shop. It's never been done. You, you don't fly a rapper in to an event, you know? So that was a moment. Wow. Goosebumps. <laughs> How cool is that? You know, rap chopper, rapping cars, rap life. God, it doesn't get any better than that. It was unforgettable. Ready over here. 
and I had all my team, my family. So they're all standing in the driveway and everyone's invested in it because there's something about the rap life. My heart was racing, Justin's heart, like I could actually see him, his face was, it was like he was just still in shock. So many people, the cars were rapping and the helicopter was leaving and <laughs> yeah, it was like a little bit like, wow, what's going on? It was Friday night, we had majority of the vinyl on, but we had some of the big panels left. That front area, there was a lot of knife lists left to do. We had a 1934 Ford and a 1946 cab over to work with. I knew I had to stick to the heritage and pay respect to the car. One of the reasons I want to feature Nick and Exotic Graphics is how they use templates for wraps. It's an art to take the 2D image on a computer and match it perfectly to a curvy 3D car. I had a look through the Avery Dennison Australia swatch book and I found this new colour that was period correct to the era that we were trying to chase. I knew if I could link a few extra colours to tie the whole project together, we'd nail the design. So, you know, as I travel across the world, I see everyone has their niche and the kind of what they specialize in. And I think what Nick does is super special is he's really immersed in that kind of hot rod classic car culture. Then you have the Toxic Rap, rap which he won Rap Like a King with, Laid, which he won Rap Like a King with, and now the truck and the car that we just did. Super classic, beautiful body lines, stuff like that. It looks like paint. It's next level. I've been to many shops in the world and I saw a lot of raps, but the way Nick thinks, it's, it's different. I don't know anyone else in the world who is pushing the boundaries in that lane as deep as Nick, and it's just really special because it's super technical, but it's also really kind of honored in tradition. My background's custom paint, and that's evolved into the wrapping. Here at Exotic, we do a lot of digital print and templating. We like to print everything into the design. Oh, I just love the Diamond series. It reminded me of custom paint so much, so that's almost like our little signature. We print onto the laminate. Doing this process gets our colours really punchy, almost like candy, and we laminate that onto the Diamond series, and then we laminate that again. I just love that effect. Almost all my custom cars have some Diamond series on it. And we used our Zund to be able to make the process a lot faster for the install. So bringing Justin in at five o'clock on Friday, you know, as much as it was a late thing to do, we always knew with his skill and how fast he can lay vinyl, we knew that we could rely on him and he'd just come in and smash it out. It's not a simple car. So luckily he's here to help us out with the curvy shapes and the stretching and, you know, Nick has a great team also and they know how to rap, but Justin is also about speed rapping. Well, I'm gonna come in late and the idea was a super technical car, so I just told Nick, okay, so here's the deal. You and Joffrey do your kind of classical designs and stuff like that. Leave the trickier bits that have lots of curves that are just going to be straight. I'll bang those out and I'll save you the time on that. This is one of the best guys in the industry. He's a true leader and one of the guys pushing the industry to another level. So every important installer in the rap industry has their strengths. You know, I am a great teacher. I can make something complicated sound simple, make the process seem easy. It helps you get better as a rapper. Uh, what Nick does is he really kind of pushes the boundaries in terms of you know creating these cool designs, wrapping stuff with super complex, but having to look exactly like paint, which is amazing. And then what Joffrey does is, for me, he's kind of like a new version of those classic hand painters who go on the windows, and you know they used to do all that kind of sign writer stuff back in the day, where you get the paintbrush and you get those perfect lines. So Joffrey is doing that exact same thing, but he's doing it with knifeless tape. So he comes in with knifeless tape and he creates these really cool shapes. His style reminds me of a pinstriper. He pulls those lines. It's real custom. It was super cool to get Matt Egan out. He's a world-renowned custom painter. And when I wanted to get my windows done, I wanted some traditional sign writing and gold leaf. I love his style and I love that the heritage of our sign writing background and traditional brush strokes is where it's evolved from. It's been a good couple of days coming down here and uh, just getting out of my spray booth 
and just getting around a different world with uh, like-minded people that they're in the digital vinyl world so it's good to watch them create the vehicles and the artwork and see it come together. The way that Maddie lays his lines is similar to how we lay our lines. As much as ours are done computerised and his is done by hand, it's still the same art form. I do my thing, they do theirs, but it all comes together and seeing all the cars shows that we've all got the same passion for the end result. So working to the deadline, we knew we had to get to the car show at 5.30. What's tricky about these old cars that we're wrapping is the paint is really kind of decent quality but a little tricky so if you stretch it too much, the paint's going to fail and the material's going to pop and because we're putting so much time into this wraps and getting all these layers, if one the bottom layer pops, we're done. Just like every other weekend, Normally the boys just roll in with all their cool cars if the weather's good. They normally have a barbecue and just see what we're up to. It was really cool to have a beer with them, show them what we've been working on. Just seeing cool cars, the Auburn and all that. They're not even wrapped those cars, they're painted. But it's still about the life and the lifestyle of it. It's, it's kind of cool to see their reaction. Classic car people, as much as you know, they think, oh, well, wraps aren't really, you know, paint's better. I think when they see Nick's stuff, they really think, okay, you know what? Actually, wraps are pretty cool. We all appreciate all the hard yards we do. No matter if it's wrapping, paint, engine work, we just love it. It's just the vibe of having everyone around. All right, we got one hour left till the car has to be on the road going to the car show. We cannot miss this window. On the boot, we got a little bit stuck with the louvers. So we didn't know what kind of design we are going to do and we had to keep something subtle to make sure that it didn't interfere. This will sound funny but these cars almost talk to you. A lot of this stuff has to be done on the fly. The cars will tell you what it needs. We work with straight lines so it needs to fit like every single piece. So during the process we even switch some designs, make another template, put it in a computer, print it again and we laid it on. We're up against it here. We had to be at the show at 5.30 and we had to get it done. So with any project, especially super complicated that has a tight deadline, it just gets that pressure quotient at the end where a lot of installers start to cut corners and they kind of start to rush and you know skip steps. It started getting a little bit chaotic. My boys were coming up to me left, right and centre, working out what was next. I was a little bit rattled myself. Lots of stuff left to do, but we're professionals right now. We're going to take a deep breath, we're going to relax do all the steps we need to do to get this car on the road to do it right. Post heating, wiping the stuff down, making sure every corner and edge is just plumb tight. So we get done with the cars and they just look amazing. Now it's time to sweep the floor and put the hot rod on the truck. When that hot rod went on the back of that truck, man, the weight off my shoulders were unbelievable. I knew it was done and that we could enjoy a beer and a burger and just enjoy the ride after this. One of my main goals with Rap Institute and doing these events is to take the wraps out of the garage and showcase them to the public. So before doing that, the final step was to give the wraps a bit of a shine, then go. So five o'clock came, we lined up the cars, we had a 20 minute drive to get there. It was awesome to see the truck behind the hot rod when I was driving. It was unreal just seeing that in the rearview mirror. The presence of that car on the road and just knowing that we just completed that, it was an awesome feeling. Nick and I are super passionate about rapping. So to be driving with something like 30 cool cars down the road at the same time, and the cool raps leading the way, this is the rap life. Oh, yes. So Penlink is just at a BP service station every Saturday night, guaranteed. There's no planning to it. If the weather's good, cars arrive.
One of the coolest things about this project is simply just coming up to the car show and just blowing people's mind with the wraps that we had on these cars. Well, it felt so good just seeing all the cars lined up, all the hard work. Even that there's these cars that we've done two or three years ago, it still gets the same reaction. People still you know, don't know much about the wrap world, so you can see these cars pull up and just this sick, crazy, over-the-top, amazing design and just how it reacts with people. I mean, that's the power of wraps for me. And then, you know, at first people think, oh, that's a great paint job. And then when you show them, well, this is actually just, you know, a sticker with, you know, put on with the squeegee. That's when people just really start to be amazed that you're just like, oh my God, you actually did this in two days. After the show, I want to show Justin and Joffrey where we normally cruise our cars. We went down to the bottom of the pier, we organised the big umbrella with the burger truck, and we ended up parking up and having dinner there. It's good to be together, you know? Like, the family of Nick, family of the, the guys that work at the shop, my wife is here, Justin is here. Family and friends are so important to us. That's why we get them involved. It's great seeing the kids around the cars and seeing the next evolution come up. One of my favorite things about doing a big project is the end. We're relaxing, we're just, you know, having a drink, having some food, and just chilling out with the rap family. It's super, super special, and that's just for me, where it all comes together and you feel that kind of the circle has been completed. No matter how hard those two days were, when we got to sit back and look at what we just created, that was exactly what we wanted to capture. That custom culture, family and friends behind us, and that rap life.